2026. Let's go. Who's excited to finally be on campus? That is the excitement. I love to hear from you guys. Y'all bring the energy to campus. Y'all are the excitement. You guys are the spark that lights up this place. And it's so great to have y'all back officially. Officially, welcome to campus, welcome home, and welcome to Cowboy Kickoff. My name is Copen Combs. And I am Megan Robinson, and we are so excited that you are here, and we are so excited to welcome you to Stillwater, Oklahoma. You guys are the largest freshman class in Oklahoma State history. This school year, we will also see the largest honors college class, school-wide and freshman class. The 4,668 4, of you are one of the most diverse classes Oklahoma State has ever seen. You come from 25 countries and 46 states. Copen, should we do, should we do some state shout out? Oh yeah, let's recognize some states. How many of you guys are from California? Gotta represent my East Coast. Any Pennsylvanians out there? Representing, I hear you, I hear you. All right, how about Texas? <laughs> Showing my East Coast bias. What about Connecticut? All right, how about Kansas? I'm sure a lot of you will think we saved the best for, best for last. Oklahoma? This energy is fantastic, guys. That's fantastic to hear from y'all. Okay, so we know where y'all are from. Let's talk about y'all's accomplishments that you guys did in high school. Out of this freshman class, 600 of you guys were ranked in the top 5% of your graduating class. This is amazing. 900 students had a 4.0 or GPA or higher when they graduated. Not only were you guys rock stars in the classroom, you guys logged 560,000 community service hours. Are you kidding me? And you guys were involved in nearly 12,000 school, athletic, and community events throughout. Please give yourself a round of applause for that. We're gonna keep bragging on you all just a little bit longer. There are eight hundred first-generation college students in this class. That's nearly 20% of the entire freshman class. That is amazing. But can't forget about the legacies. Those of you who have been bleeding orange since birth, we're so happy to have you here as well. But whether you've been a cowboy since birth, or first generation student, you are all now a part of the Cowboy family and we couldn't be happier to have you here. Our first speaker knows what it's like to be a cowboy. He can attest to what it's like from finding your own path. He came here wanting to be a doctor and changed to political science. So there is clearly a path for everybody find your destiny here, and he is your SGA president, Riley Pritzloff. I'm sure you guys are gonna hear this enough, but let's hear it for the biggest freshman class OSU has ever had. So I know that this event pretty much closes out Welcome Week, so I hope you guys have had a great time I met some of my closest friends at Welcome Week in fall of 2019. Yes, I'm that old. And I... 
We, we met because we decided to go tie-dye scrunchies in the student union. So I hope someone here met their best friend's tie-dye and scrunchies. Over the next four years, you will meet people and have experiences that you will never forget. While you may not realize it now, these people, these experiences, they will shape you as a person, as a student, as a partner, and as a professional. Just like our wonderful MCs mentioned, I began college absolutely certain that I was going to be a physician, an interventional cardiologist to be specific. I was majoring in microbiology. I had my plan to start shadowing doctors from day one. I may have even bought an MCAT book for more money than I should have, but that's neither here nor there. Well, I then took a social justice politics course with my then department head. Two years later as a sophomore, I unceremoniously emailed my advisor and changed my major to political science. And I plan to apply for PhD programs in the coming months. And, and the, reason, the reason I, thank you. The reason I say this is because while I thought I was sure of my path, my experiences here at OSU shaped me in a way that I really wasn't expecting. That's what four years or three years at college are going to do to you. So while you might not expect it, I would encourage you to keep an open mind. You're a microbiology major? Take social justice politics. It's offered this semester, by the way. You're a business major? Take that brewing microbiology course you think looks cool. There is no correct way to reach your goals. Take your time and enjoy the journey. Aside from academics, I'm sure there are a few of you who in here who are scared that you won't be able to find a community. I understand because I have that same fear, and I know it's scary to be in a new place alone, but even if you don't know anyone, join a study group, join a club. If you think it looks interesting, go to one of their meetings, even if you don't know anyone. Your community matters, and you will find it here at Oklahoma State University. And in, in the spirit of community, we will be having an event called Lights on Stillwater on August 24th from 6.30 to 9. Right outside of Boone Pickens Stadium, I would highly encourage you all to come. So, I am thrilled to be able to welcome you to campus, and I, along with all these other fantastic people on this stage, are thrilled to see what you're going to accomplish in the next four years. Thank you, Raleigh. Thank you so much, Raleigh. He hit on the greatest stuff ever, and that is campus involvement. It is so much fun to get involved, and we'll get you guys on the right path. Also on the right path, another very important thing is academic success here. We have amazing OSU administration, faculty, and staff that will help you guys in the classroom and get you to that next level of your career. And right now, I want to introduce our provost and senior vice president, Dr. Jeanette Mendez. Hello and welcome. From all my colleagues across campus, let me tell you how excited we all are to welcome you to the Cowboy family. Now, as you heard, I'm the provost for OSU, but if you don't know what that means, don't worry. The Ocali did an article last year and we found that very few, if any, really knew what a provost was but it sure was fun to hear all of the guesses, including the Pope of the University. But seriously, as the Chief Academic Officer, I'm responsible for the academic mission of the university and oversee all of the colleges, as well as other key divisions, broadly here to support you and student success. Now, normally the provost would give you a list of things to be successful here at OSU, and I'll do some of that, but I thought I'd share with you a little bit about my background not only so you can get to know me better, but so I can tell you I know what you're going through. I grew up in California, raised by a single mother, and lived in government housing. I'm a first-generation college student, meaning I'm the first in my family to go to college. And I'm forever thankful to my high school teachers, friends, advisors who encouraged me to go to college. When I went to college, I was overwhelmed. I made a few friends and even had a close friend of my hometown in a nearby dorm, but I was overwhelmed by everyone who I met. They all seemed to know exactly what they were doing. They knew what major to choose, 
what job they wanted, what clubs to join, and I knew nothing. And it was extremely overwhelming. I went home every weekend until mid-fall when my mom told me I needed to ask for help and get involved. And that's my main advice for all of you. Right now, I see it with my own kids. There's this desire to say you know everything and not let anyone think you need help. To that, I want to tell you to stop. We are here to help you. If you have a major and a career path already, wonderful. That's great. And if you don't, wonderful. That's great. You have time. We have advisors and career services here to help you find a path. You don't need to solve everything today, this week, this month, or this semester. You have time. But use the resources we have available and ask for help. And get involved. Just as Riley said, nothing will connect you more to the university than finding your community. I came from a meeting with the student organization advisors this morning in the Ferguson College of Agriculture, and there were over 60 different organizations in that one college alone. Think how many organizations we have across all our colleges and the entire university. I challenge you to find one organization to join and attend a meeting this first month, and I promise you won't be disappointed. And I would be remiss if I didn't say anything about your classes. I truly hope you love your classes. We have world-class faculty who have chosen to be here teaching at a university because they're committed to you, the students. I also want to encourage you to stay on top of your coursework. For many, the pace of these classes might be very different than it was in high school. And for many, there might not be a lot of daily assignments meaning it's pretty easy to fall behind and feel overwhelmed at that first exam. Don't let that happen. We have resources on campus through your colleges and through the university that have free tutoring, free study guides, free um, time management skills. They will help work with you to make sure you are not falling behind. Use the resources. They're available to everyone. And stop by and say hi to your professors even if you don't have a question, they want to meet you, so take a few minutes and stop by during their office hours. Oh, and of course, go to class. Overall, I want each of you to know we deeply care about all of you. We want you to succeed. Get involved, ask for help, use your resources, and stay on top of your coursework, and you're going to succeed. Go Pokes! Thank you so much, Dr. Mendez, and that is great advice. There are so many resources at Oklahoma State for students to succeed academically, and over 500 student clubs and organizations, so there really is something here for everyone. The path forward at Oklahoma State will provide many choices, and Oklahoma State has networks and people to help you develop into the person you want to be. Our next speaker has been in your shoes and we couldn't think of a better person to welcome you to Stillwater. Our Oklahoma State University President, Dr. Casey Trump. Welcome to OSU. We are so thrilled to have you with us this afternoon. And it's amazing that you show up just breaking records. How about that? Well, I'm Dr. Casey Shrum, the president of Oklahoma State University, and let me be the first to tell you, you made the right choice by becoming a part of the Cowboy family. This is a decision that will change your life, a decision that certainly changed my life. I'm sure most of you don't know too much about me. You can be sure to follow me on Instagram or uh, Twitter, because sometimes I say things you might want to know. Um, but I want to share my story with you. Like some of you, I grew up in a small town in Oklahoma. Coweta, that's close to Tulsa. Do we have any Coweta? Woo! There we go. So I grew up loving sports, and I began to focus on softball. That became my passion. Athletics taught me many things, but it taught me about teamwork, 
the value of sacrifice and discipline. Eventually, I became a college athlete, a, a softball pitcher. And in fact, I went to college on an athletic scholarship. And like many of you, I'm a first-generation college student. I was a first-generation college student. And at that time, when I showed up to campus, all I knew was I loved softball and I loved science. But one day, my professor asked me if I would stay after class. And he asked if I was going to medical school, since I had the highest grade in his physiology class. That idea had never crossed my mind. I'd gone to a doctor, but I certainly never thought that was something I could become. And I didn't know any doctors personally. I didn't have any in my family, and I had never met a female doctor. But the words of that professor changed my life. I went on to medical school. I became a pediatrician. I later became the dean of the medical school in Tulsa, and later the president of the Center for Health Sciences. July 1st of last year, I came here to Stillwater and became the president of Oklahoma State University. You just never know where the road in life is going to lead you. As a young girl in Coweta, never in my wildest dreams would I ever have thought I'd be standing here in front of you today as the first female to serve as a president of a comprehensive research university in the state of Oklahoma and as the 19th president of Oklahoma State University. So what have I learned on my journey? You don't have to have all the answers. Some of you know exactly why you're here, and others of you may feel like you need a little more direction, and that's okay. That's why we're here. We're here to help you. And here's what I want you to know that my parents told me. You can become anything in this life as long as you're willing to work hard. So I want you to dream big. Don't let your future be limited by your dreams. Dream big, set goals, and work hard to achieve them. Thank you. <laughs> because if your dreams don't scare you a little, then I'm going to tell you you're not dreaming big enough. Success isn't a destination. Success is getting up every day and making progress towards a meaningful goal. So get up every day with a sense of purpose. And just like that professor of mine so many years ago, mentors make a difference. Find one. Find a professor, an advisor, someone you look up to, an upperclassman, because we all need someone to guide us along our journey. You will have struggles, because we all struggle. We need someone to be there for us. Keep your family and your friends close. And be kind to one another, because you never know what someone's going through that day. You'll hear us talk a lot about the cowboy family. And that's not just something we say, we mean it. We live by the cowboy code. And living by the code is something that I talk a lot about and something you're going to learn more about as a student. But it's what binds us together. It's a common purpose and a way to positively impact the world around us. So if you think about it, that's what a team is. A group of people with a common purpose and goal. You're a part of the cowboy family but I'm inviting you to be a part of the OSU team, a team that I have the privilege of leading. We're all in this together, and you're now on my team, Team Shrum, just like your new t-shirts say. When we work together, 
when we support each other, believe in the mission, and value every member of the Cowboy family, we can do anything. I want you all to have a great first day of class on Monday. And don't forget to send your parents a first day of school picture because they will appreciate it. Now, I didn't feel a lot of enthusiasm for that, so I'm gonna do you guys a favor. This is, this is Cowboys taking care of Cowboys right here. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, so Monday, I'm gonna post that picture on my account and you just tag yourself and tag your mom and dad or other family members so that you get, they can have their first day of picture, uh, school picture. All right, so when you see me on campus, I want you to stop and say hello because I look forward to meeting as many of you as I possibly can. I want you to know that my door and my email are always open to you. And I'm gonna leave you with one last bit of advice. Wherever you go in life, and whatever you accomplish, never forget who and what helped you get where you, get you there. Today, you can see I'm wearing my suit, and I have my tennis shoes on. And that's as a reminder that I'm still that small town girl from Coweta that loves softball. But today I'm standing here with you as the 19th president of Oklahoma State University. Your futures are bright. Thank you and go Pokes. Thank you, Dr. Shrum. Dr. Shrum spoke about the Oklahoma State team and our keynote speaker today knows a thing or two about being on a team. She's one of the newer members of the Cowboy family and came to us this spring from UMKC. She is the women's basketball head coach, Coach J.C. Hoyt. I'm just looking out here like at all of your faces. This is so cool. You guys are giving me so much energy right now. I want you to know that. And um, I just want to share a few things with you. And the first thing is I totally know how y'all feel being new. Um, I just moved with my husband about five months ago. And it can be scary, right? Going through, you know, change and um, leaving your families and um, just having to start, you know, totally over, not knowing anyone. So a couple things that I want to leave with you um, that I've learned in my last few months. The first thing I want you to know, 100% without a doubt, I can tell you this. You chose the absolute best university in the country to start your future at, okay? I want you to know that. And the reason I can confidently say that is because I've been going through it. I've been living it. Uh, the last few months, uh, I've just been a part of this community that has welcomed me and embraced me, and they're gonna do the same thing for you. The other thing that I can confidently tell you is that without a doubt, and you already know this because you just heard her speak, we are in great hands because we have the best, most fashionable leader in the country in President Trump. So you just have to know that, okay? You're here for a reason, and even in those times when it maybe feels scary and uncomfortable, just trust you made the right decision, we're all in good hands, all right? Don't go through this journey alone, though. There's a whole room full of people who are all, trust me, feeling the same way that you're feeling, you know, a little scared, a little nervous. Um, don't feel like you have to go through it alone. Lean on each other. The cowboy family, the cowgirl family is unmatched, so lean on each other. Y'all are record setters, you know that? 
Record setters, you know that, right? Okay, so here's the thing. Let's do something with this opportunity. You guys have already, you know, paved the way and, and be in the biggest class ever, ever. That is huge at Oklahoma State, ever. You guys are already setting records. Think about that. So don't stop now. Why would you? Why would we stop now? Let's continue to do great things together, all right? The way that you do that, this is a principle that I live by. Figure out how can you leave every space that you enter better than you found it? How can you leave every space that you enter better than you found it? So whether that's in class, whether that's in your social setting, uh, no matter where it is, what you do, find a way to leave things better than you found it. All right, that's easy, just something small, right? So we're gonna lean on each other. We wanna leave things better than we found it. All right, now, uh, can we get the cowboy code back up that we had earlier? Can we get that slide? Okay, so I want to share my favorite thing of the cowboy code. What do y'all think it is? Anyone, what do you think is my favorite part of the code? Ooh, smart one right here, okay? At Oklahoma State, we dream as big as the sky, as big as the sky. That's my favorite thing. And I've, I've got that written in on my heart. And so I, I wanna share, I'm gonna be vulnerable with you and I'm gonna share one of the ways that I am dreaming as big as the sky, but here's the thing, I need your help. So can I trust you with this? Can I, can I be vulnerable with you and use your help? Yes, okay. All right, so one of my dreams being new here that I absolutely need your help with is I want to be known as the best women's basketball student section in the country, okay? Okay, so I, I feel like y'all are on board. Now here's how we can do that, all right? So this is something that our team does and I'm gonna share our secrets with you, okay? We have something on our team that we call hype. All right, hi, I know y'all have heard that word before. So we don't just talk about it, we actually live that out. And here's how we live it out, all right? We track it as a point system. So I'm gonna see how y'all do, okay? So if you give someone a fist bump, that's a height point. Can we, can we get some fist bumps, everybody? Points, 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 I'm seeing points everywhere. That's perfect, perfect, point, all right? Very good, you got that down. How about uh, if you give someone a high five, that's another point, let's hear it. Very good, good, good. All right. If you bring the hype verbally, depending on how loud you get, that can range anywhere from one point to 10 points. So can I hear you bring the hype? Chest bump, that's five points. Can I get some chest bumps in the house? Stand up, let's go. Stand up. Stand up, girls, I see you. Stand up, I need to see the height. All right, I'm gonna be real with y'all. There's no way that poor effort right there is gonna help us be the best in the country. So I am telling you right now, everybody stand up. Everyone stand up. And give me your best chest bump. Let's go. You can't tell, okay? This would probably get me fined in the Big 12 if, if other people knew this, all right? So, <laughs> the biggest, best way that we can earn hype points is we get a warning from the officials for being too hype, all right? So, 
Here's what we're gonna do. I need everyone to stand back up. And right now, we are going to practice being the best student section in the country. I'm talking the best. And I need y'all to lose your minds on the count of three as if we're trying to earn a warning from the officials at our games, all right? Can we do this? Yes? All right, lose your minds and bring the dang hype on the count of three. One, two, three, bring the hype! Y'all can have that at any point in time. And let's not just do it for women's basketball, right? We've got soccer, we've got football, we got men's basketball, women's basketball, whatever it is, let's bring the hype, all right? Have fun, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna lean on each other, we're gonna leave things better than we found it, and every women's basketball game, every sporting event, use your all sports pass and bring the day hype. Let's go, go post. y'all so much. I'm so glad you guys are back. This excitement has got me smiling from ear to ear. Can we give a big round of applause for all of our speakers? All right, you guys got the emotion already, and I want to crank it up another notch. Um, who's ready for the next football game in a couple weeks? Excited. I'm so excited as well, and we have a lot of traditions for those, and we're going to keep the same concept of hype. So let me introduce OSU's hype man. Let's not just let's come up here and get going. you a couple of traditions. Y'all cool with the traditions? Yeah. Are you cool with the tradition? Yeah. All right, right after this, you will be dismissed. But right now, when I put my hand like this, I need you to say, oh! All right, all right. That was about a level three. I need y'all to be on 10, saying you got that little vein right here that popped out your neck. I need you to be so loud. I need to see all the veins in the neck. Oh! Now put your love hand in front of your face. Turn it around. Lift it up. Turn it to the side. Put your hand down. Put your right hand down. That's an S. Here we go. One, two, three. Don't, don't drop off. Don't drop off. The last one is you like this. Here we go. Here we go. You. You. Cowboy. Cowboy. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to introduce you to the baddest man in the land. He's the best mascot in the world. Make some noise for Pistol P. Yeah. Now listen, I just showed you OSU. When Pete pops his gun, you're gonna follow him because he's gonna do the movement. We do it with him. Say with Pete. 
You gotta say it loud, say with P. All right, Pistol P, it is on you. Here we go. Yeah, see, it's all right, so we ready.
All right, next, we got our alma mater. So you're gonna link up like this. Get close to the person next to you, put your arm around their shoulders like you love them, because we are family. That's right. Yeah. We do this at the end of every song. Let's strike up the band. Here we go, let's go. We're gonna sway together. Y'all already doing it. Y'all got this. You are 